Hi, and welcome to the Screen Innovations World Headquarters. My name is Blake Vacker, and it's great to have Amy back from Sony. Welcome. Thanks, Blake. It's great to be here. It's great to have you back, because the last time you were here, you were introducing a game changer, the VPL-1000. Yes. Yep. The first native 4K projector designed specifically for the home market. Very exciting projector, but I understand that some of that technology used in the VPL-1000 is now in your new product. Well, let's go ahead and introduce that. I would love to. So we did launch the VPL HW50 ES at Cedia, mm -hmm. and we are shipping it now. And like you mentioned, it does have some of the same technology as the VW-1000, specifically the reality creation processing. Mm -hmm. Sony has actually been developing this processing technology for the past decade, mm -hmm. and it's a database type algorithm. So it's actually able to put back some of the information that's lost as a result of compression, which is going to give you a very sharp, detailed image. The Sony image that everybody's you know used to seeing. Yes. It's famous in the industry, obviously. Yep. But with the value proposition, this is exciting, obviously, because it looks great, but the mm -hmm. price point is exceptional, and there's a lot of extras in the box, correct? That's absolutely true. So the $1,000 is $25,000, and mm -hmm. this projector, while it is a 1080p projector, uh, mm -hmm. it's $4,000 and it includes a built-in 3D emitter. Mm -hmm. It also includes two pairs of 3D glasses as well as an extra lamp. Wow, so we've got a 3D capable projector that's mm -hmm. perfect for the living room environment because it's a brighter projector than most of the ones you've brought out in the past, correct? It is, with the exception of the VW1000, which is mm -hmm. 2000 lumens. Sure. This projector, the HW50, is 1700 lumens. And the beauty of that 1700 lumens is we're able to get a much brighter projector without actually sacrificing the color mm -hmm. um, so it's, it's 1,700 lumens. It's going to give you a nice, bright picture. You can do larger screen sizes, and you can install it in a non-dedicated theater, such as like a media room. In fact, a multi-purpose room, which is a great combination with the 50. When you put that with one of our screens, the Black Diamond Zero Edge yep. in the background we see here, we were talking about this in another interview. The value proposition is actually it's more affordable with screen and projector than a leading 90 inch flat panel or 80 inch flat panel, is that correct? Absolutely, so the 75 to 90 inch TVs out there, when you look at the cost based on square inch, mm -hmm. you're looking at over $2 a square inch, but this projector, it's $4,000 plus a 100 inch screen or so, mm -hmm. is gonna run you about $1.50 per square inch. So it's a great value for that huge screen size. It really is, in fact, right around $8,000 for a 100 inch zero edge, with the, the 50, mm -hmm. that's what, $2,000, $3,000 cheaper than a 90 inch flat panel? Yeah, right around there. And what, from a 90 to 100, we're talking about uh, how many, what, 25 percent? 25%, 25%, 25%, yeah, that's, those 10 inches when you're talking diagonal, it doesn't seem like doesn't it'd be a big like difference. That much, does it? But this is actually, this is area, and so mm -hmm. it's going to be about 25% larger surface area, so, viewing area. So it's amazing. We can get a bigger, better image than the leading flat panels out there. And of course, if you're using a black diamond zero edge, there's no glare because there's no glass or Lexan. Yep. So suddenly, for the first time that I can ever remember, we now have a better image that's less expensive per square inch than your flat panels, and also don't have to deal with the glare issues. That's extraordinary if you ask me, which I'm glad you are. Not to mention, <laughs> but, not to mention but you get that real theater experience, sure. right? It's projector, it's super cool. It's immersive. Absolutely. And that's the whole idea. Now, mm -hmm. a lot of people don't realize this, but at a 100-inch screen and larger, that's when things become life-size. Oh, absolutely. 3D is a totally different experience on a mm -hmm. projector. I agree with you. And it's unfortunate that, that so many have experienced the 3D in too small of a screen. Mm -hmm. At 100 inches and larger, especially with the improvements in 3D, yep. that's a pretty uh, uh, enveloping image. Oh, absolutely. It's Thanks. very immersive. It's life-size. Now, let's talk about more than just the movies. Video mm -hmm. games. I understand that Sony has a game console. Yes. What's that called again? <laughs> uh, let, me, <laughs> let me think about that. Yeah. PlayStation 3. <laughs> That's a great combination with two-piece projection. Mm -hmm. um, you know, because a lot of the complaints I hear from the gamers on flat panels is the motion artifacting. Mm -hmm. That's not the case when it comes to Sony projectors, is it? No, and the other great thing about Sony projectors is they have very, very little lag time. So mm -hmm. for the competitive gamers out there, this projector is going to be a great fit for that. And remember, you don't have to sit in a dark room to play the games. You That's can have the lights true. full on mm -hmm. with the Black Diamond screen technology compared with uh, in, in combined with Sony. Now, value proposition being what it is, but it all comes down to the image. Sony's famous for its optics and its technology. Mm -hmm. What is also different in the optics and the technology that sets you apart from the other players in this field? Yep. So we're using SXRD technology, mm -hmm. which is kind of Sony's flavor of LCOS. Mm -hmm. um, it's very, very different from LCD and from uh, DLP. Mm -hmm. uh, SXRD technology has a very, very small uh, pixel gap. So it's going to actually provide you with a very uh, sharp image. That's excellent to know because, um, you know, Sony's famous for also building the projectors you see in the theaters. 
That's true. And that technology is obviously mm -hmm. trickling down into the screen, the projector that I can put in my house. Yeah, the same SXRD technology that you're going to have in this projector is actually the same technology that you're going to find in professional movie theaters like Regals and AMCs. Now, mm -hmm. one of the objections we hear about two-piece projections is it's difficult to use or difficult to set up. I'm looking at a fairly small chassis. I'm looking at a fairly light con uh, construction, mm -hmm. not, not light and cheap, but light in the fact that I can get <laughs> it up over my head without having three other people help me lift it. Yep. Lens shift also as a standard, correct? Um, so on this projector, it does not have the zoomed anamorphic. This mm -hmm. one is manual shift, but on our VW series, the VW95, mm -hmm. the VW1000, it does have uh, what we call picture position, mm -hmm. which is essentially the zoomed anamorphic. But the lens shift is easy to set up when you're setting up the screen for the first so time. Easy. I mean, we're not talking mm -hmm. about hours, we're talking about minutes, right? Mm -hmm. Because the, yep. what I appreciate about this is that uh, sometimes it's convenient to have lens shift with the remote, but yep. I, it's easier to just go up and go up, down, left, right, and place the image exactly where it needs to be in the screen. Yeah. It's so easy to set up. I mean, and you mentioned how uh, lightweight it is. Mm -hmm. I can put it up. You know, it's only about 30 pounds. So <laughs> if I can do it, you can do yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> you're like a honey badger. You're tougher than you look. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> now, uh, a couple of other points I just want to make on the, uh, on the Sony that I thought was exciting uh -huh. when it comes to working with a professional integrator. This product is sold through professional integrators, correct? That is correct, yep. And that's important to understand because to really to appreciate the full possibilities mm -hmm. of the projector, it does help to have a CDS certified professional integrator install this product. That is true. Um, this projector has so many different settings and just to get the maximum amount of uh, usability mm -hmm. and uh, features out of it, we definitely encourage customers to go through a local certified uh, Sony ES dealer. And we would also encourage that as well here at Screen Innovations, primarily because with a, when you're using a projector and screen in a darkroom environment only, you're probably going to have it set and leave it alone. Mm -hmm. When you're working with a black diamond, it's always recommended that you have at least three settings. Of course, you want it in the brightest mode when you're yep. watching the game with the guys. Bright and TV. Bright TV, yep. exactly. We're looking for that poppy image yep. uh, in the Saturday afternoon, 3 o'clock sports mm -hmm. thing, which we can do. Full lights on in the room, even windows in the room, that can be done. But when we're watching TV, mm -hmm. I thought it was interesting that even in the... Uh, other settings, you're still brighter than many in the category and maintaining the true color, right? That is correct. Um, all of the calibrated mm -hmm. settings, we are going to be um, extremely bright. Okay. So we're not sacrificing brightness for color accuracy. So we would step down the brightness but maintain the color accuracy. Yep. And when we're watching TV and it's a little bit dimmer in the room, but still mm -hmm. able to read a, a, a newspaper. You don't yep. remember what those are, right? <laughs> <laughs> but then we step into the darkroom environment, mm -hmm. the cinema mode. Still a little bit brighter than many in the category, but again, maintaining the color accuracy, correct? That is correct. Yeah. So that's actually something to remember because when we look at a spec sheet, we all look at the biggest number lumens, mm -hmm. 1,700 lumens. But it turns out that in those other settings, still brighter and maintaining color accuracy, that's something that's important for the end user to understand. Absolutely. Especially when we're going to yep. Black Diamond, when you're going to use those other settings, correct? Yep. Well, I think we've learned a lot about the new projector. I think it's a great piece to be uh, coupling with the, the Black Diamond, the Zero Edge, the motorized and our fixed screens, mm -hmm. as well as all of our other white, gray, and acoustically transparent materials as well. So I tell you what, but let's tell everybody where we can find this projector. I'd love to. So if you go to our website, which is www.sony.com slash ES, um, there's actually a dealer locator there. So you can find an authorized Sony ES dealer. Thanks for coming down. Thanks, Blake. I appreciate it. Thanks, Amy. Take care. Take care.